in this lesson we're going to create our first newsletter so once you're here you click on the newsletter and you want to click on new all right before you start typing anything in i just want you to notice that there are a few buttons here at the very top and the first one is a template you have the option of choosing a template or you can just start writing you know like as is so when you click on the template um, button it's going to give you the option that i covered earlier so if you want to use one of these all you have to do is just click on it and it's going to input that in there for you and then of course you can click the edit here to put in your message and um, and then of course you can you know type in whatever you want to say there so you can go ahead and experiment with the different uh, template that is offered but as I mentioned earlier I like just having just a blank one unless you know I'm doing some type of a promotion or you the first thing you want to put different graphics and things like that uh, but I've noticed that when it comes to people reading to eat their newsletters or email, you know, most people really, you know, they just they just want quality stuff. So, OK, so you have this template here and then you have the tags. The tags, once again, allow you to put a, a placeholder. Um, so instead of, you re you know, repeatedly doing the same thing over and over, that the uh, placeholder can just take that place, for example, Instead of you having to put every single person's name, when you put the placeholder there, it's going to automatically insert their name. So let's start first with uh, the subject. And then the alias, you don't have to put anything there. This is going to automatically um, convert the title to the alias. And you wanna make sure that it's published. So I'm just gonna type in Hello. Okay, so now let's fill this up with placeholders. So when you say hello, the benefit of a placeholder, as I mentioned, you know, it allows you to add, you know, stuff uh, such as the person's actual name. So you want to click on tags. So you want to go to subscriber and you can choose here what tag you want to be, but I would recommend you can either choose their first name or you can choose their whole name. So I'm just going to choose their name and then put a comma. So when it reads, it's going to read, hello, the person's name. And once again, it's not going to say sub tag and all that stuff on there. So they'll get this, you know, read their information there. Thanks. And then you can put at the bottom, if they want to um, unsubscribe, just put on subscribe link. All right, so I'll put in click, I'm gonna put in click this link. This link to, now I'm gonna add a placeholder here again. So I go to tags. Go to subscription and I'm going to use that unsubscribe link there. So I was going to read, cl pl um, click this link to unsubscribe and then put the period. Okay, so now our newsletter creation, um, the content part, once you're done there, uh, the text version is going to automatically generate it for you. So you want to look at the, the right hand column here. You have four tabs. You have the list, attachment, sender, and metadata. So you want to put in the list. Uh, we talked about the list before. You can pick and choose who received this information. So if you have multiple lists, you can choose, you know, which group or which list that you want to send this to. So I'm just going to choose the newsletter. As a matter of fact, I just, you know, choose both of them. And also, if you have the same person that's on, you know, both lists, it's only going to send them just one. So they're not going to get two, you know, multiple emails. Um, so you want to go to attachment. If there are any attachments that you want to add here, you can click choose and you can, you know, attach the file there. So let's go to sender. This is a very important tab because you want to make sure that you put all the right information there. And 
you want to be consistent with what you're putting. So where it says from name, if you're going to use your website name, you always want to use your website name. If you're going to use your, your name, you always want to use your name. Whatever from name that you want to use, you want to be consistent because if you keep using different names, um, people are going to see that as spam. Sometimes they're going to accidentally delete very important emails from you. So once you see once you put the from name it is consistent then they always know to expect something whenever they see your name there they know it's from you so i'm just going to put in newsletter and then from um reply to newsletter and then just put in the same email and then the metadata of course you can fill in the the metadata information here but i'm just going to leave that blank And also there's the filter section if you want to refine it you know a little bit more you can um use that you know this option here uh but for now you don't have to worry about that so with you know create the mailing list uh the newsletter and this this replace tag if you want to replace a tag this is what that's for that allows you to you know replace um your tag so next you have several options you can save and close or you can just save or you can preview and send so at this stage what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on preview send so when you're on the preview send it asks you do you want to send a test to this email so it's always a good idea you know if you want to make sure that everything is as shown you know correctly you want to send a test to whatever email that you've associated and then you can put in a comment here so when you scroll down here it just shows you what the email is going to look like and once again with the placeholders that were put before notice how it says hello and it put the person's uh, super user which is the the name and where it says unsubscribe this is where they can click you know to unsubscribe from the mailing list and then also this is responsive so as it works great on you know different devices and then it's showing you here that the email will be sent to uh, one user since there's only one you know register user on the site so you can do one of two things here you can send a test or if you feel pretty confident you can just go ahead and then just click send or you can schedule this, which I'm going to show you um, how to set up all the newsletters um, in a coming video. But just to give you a quick glance, when you click on the schedule, it asks you, you know, you get to choose, do you want to send this, you know, today? Or you can choose whatever date that you want to send it. And you can choose here at so-and-so time, which is, you know, which is great. So. If you have multiple emails that you want to send out, you can you can automate everything. You can create you know several emails, several newsletters, and then you pick and choose the dates that you want to send those out on. All right, so now for this one, let's go ahead and just do a test. So I'm going to click send a test. So when I open my email, you notice here it has from newsletter. That's the title that was set, and also the subject. So I'm going to go ahead and click and open this. And this is what it looks like, the HTML version. Now let's go back and look at what the text version looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like here without the HTML on there. So this is the, un, um, it says, hello, of course, the name. This is my first newsletter. Thanks, Matthew. And then the unsubscribe button here. So what's going to happen is that if I click this unsubscribe button, it's going to unsubscribe um, from the list. So let's click on this. Now it brings you here. It asks you hello with the person's name. You know, we're sorry to see you no longer interested in our newsletter. And then they ask you, you know, what are your reasons? And then you get to choose whatever you choose here. And then put in your, you know, your the reason why you know, and the reasons, you know, just as to why you're, you know, subscribing from this list. So let me see here. I'm just going to check here. And 
then just put in gotta go and then hit the unsubscribe button and then here it says you know you're no longer subscribed to the mailing list there so now that user you know is, has been successfully unsubscribed from that list now the reason why we didn't get that other message we created is because we didn't write anything for the that new for that list and it's showing this message here instead of the one that we created so let's go to the list so i can show you why okay if you notice here this one where it says unsubscribe message it says no unsubscribe message so it's just going to use the system default settings uh, for the message and then where it says new welcome message right now there are no welcome messages that has been set unlike the other one where it's this new list we have this message here so you have the option of just using a system default or you can create a custom message you know for the unsubscription message and also for the welcome message so that's how you create and send your your, your email